The Clown Chronicles 3 Wipe that stain off from the coma Before we slip into a coma from all these thoughts That are about to erupt like the cyst on our necks Ready to ooze some disgusting bodily fluid Wipe it off already we are ready to come into existence for about 10 or 15 minutes in a virtual space. Not even on paper, on a screen. Sad. Quite sad we got to this point. Point the pointer a little bit further away, close to the X. Close the window or jump out yours. Both suit us. Better than listening to children's song on repeat, beat us with a stick, anything but this torturous existence. There we go. All clean now. Just like the picture perfect profiles we maintain while the world burns around us, while we drown in our own shit. While we scream on the inside, put on a smile, drop a like, react, enact the play. The perfect actor fiddling around with the nuclear reactor at Chernobyl. Not great, not terrible, but still edible. Radioactive waste. In a haste to update a story that's emptier than the emptiness felt by the Jews carried on wagons to their untimely death, only to realize it's not worth anything. Glued to the screen, addictive to pictures, words, thoughts, actions, reactions, haha, care, love, like, angry, sad, mad, bad, insane. Honk, honk. Where do we go now, my friend, my one and only virtual friend? We clown, you clown. We honk, you honk. We react, you react. We die, you die. Together forever for a few more minutes, before sleepiness kicks in, before we ripped from the bosom of our short existence, back into the cyclone of a psyche that cycles through this and that. You already know how it goes. Aha, he he, he he, rinse and repeat, day by day, year by year until hair turns white, until you're almost there. Not quite. Not there, the other there. Somewhere you are. There. Exactly on that spot where your heart died, where your soul died, where your humanity died, where your sanity died, where you murdered God, where you murdered death, where you became what you are, where you became what you are not, when exactly was it that you forgot to clean the festering wound? Scalp away the rot of living in fear, keeping it close, always near, a glimpse into the abyss, a wink right back, we're losing track of sanity. Nothing unusual here. There. There, there. We're almost finished. Are we? Should we give up? They say ignorance is bliss. Why prove them wrong? One more time. Ring the gong. Ding, ding, dong. Who was it that hung the jester from the tree? The sense in B, it seems there's none left for us. All we have left is a cuss. Fucking cunt, fucking cunt. Grunt until you can, while you eat the can of beans and fart all night. We'll be all right. Right? Wrong. Smoke that bong, yo. Sniff that line. Bring back the divine love of a symmetrical god. Waltzing troglodytes dressed in suits as the orchestra of harpies play on the instruments of pleasure without a measure of time. Here we go again. To a wonderfully depraved, 
deranged place, chaotically arranged to reorganize some neurons into neutrons, neutron stars that explode. Kill Nova. Ella Pane, sideways into the tiny hole that turns everything upside down, where we thrive, where we dive into a car that we drive into a pole. The North Pole and the Aurora Borealis guides our hands as we paint everything backwards with a stain. That fucking stain, which no longer exists. It does. It always will. It's not a comma, it's a dot, if it's not a dot, it's a dash, if it's not a dash, it's a rash, an itch you can't scratch away, always there, in the back of our mind, willfully ignored, adored, one or the other, both at the same time. Isn't it a crime? What? What?